Good morning. Happy Tuesday. We got a busy stretch here. We're going to see a lot of rain. And then we're going to see that remnants of the tropical storm, Bill. We are under a flood watch now. That's out until Friday. Griffey wants to say hello. Yes, Griffey is here this morning. We have that out until Friday morning. So really, that's a while. That's because we're preparing for all of that rain to move in. And the biggest problem is our ground is going to become so saturated before the heaviest rain. Well, if you're heading out the door now, it's 72 in Springfield, 71 in Fort Leonard Wood, 71 in Rolla, 68 in Branson. So it's not too warm. Um, but it's still very, very muggy. That muggy air has really been in place for about a straight week now, and that's going to continue through the week. So we're still seeing these scattered storms. Just like yesterday, saw a couple of waves of storms today. We could see off and on showers starting late to this morning through the entire day. Through tonight, we have a chance for even some of the rain. So let's talk about Tropical Storm Bill. It's there. It's down towards... Uh, Corpus Christi right now, it's down towards Houston, and it's just about to make landfall. It will this afternoon, and you can see it's not an incredible system. We don't have an eye by any means. It isn't a hurricane, but it's, it's a tropical storm, and it's going to put down a whole lot of rain, and it's forecasted to move through Oklahoma, and then it's going to turn, and it's going to move right along Highway 44, straight through Springfield and Branson. So we're going to see quite a bit of rain. Let's talk about this situation that we're seeing right now. What are we looking at for Tropical Storm Bill? Well, this is current. It's 50 mile an hour winds right now, still 104 miles off of Corpus Christi, but it is going to make landfall today as it is moving 11 miles per hour. So, what's going to happen here is this tropical storm is going to weaken and then it's going to become, well, just a leftover tropical storm. We'll call it a low pressure center. Look at the timing. By Thursday at 1 a.m., you see it's located. That's where it's located in central parts of Oklahoma. That's not necessarily where the rain's going to be. The rain's still going to be out ahead of this. So I think the heaviest rain is right around 1. And then you can see Friday, it's still in our area. So it's going to be at least a 24-hour rain event. I'd say from Wednesday night through thir uh, Friday morning, that is where we're going to see that heaviest rain. So let's take a look at a future cast here and when the heaviest rain's going to fall. Scattered showers ahead of it. That's my biggest issue with this rain is we're seeing so much rain before the actual uh, remnants of this tropical storm. So then we start to see that there it comes. Watch it start brewing up towards Oklahoma. This is 9 a.m. Wednesday. It's still raining out ahead of this. This is a wave, a couple of bands from this. And then it really starts to ramp up and move in. Wednesday night around 10 o'clock, maybe after midnight, you can see it just sits there and spins. And it's not going to move a whole lot through Thursday. Expect the worst chance for flooding, best chance for flooding, excuse me, I'd say Thursday morning through Thursday afternoon. How much rain? A lot of rain. This only brings us to around four inches, but you can see some places at six inches. I would say anywhere from three to six inches right along that I-44 corridor, give or take about 100 miles. We could pick up a few localized spots of six inches of rain. So watch out for some flooding, especially those small streams and those low-lying roads. They will flood over. 80 degrees today is what I have. A sad still holding us down from the off and on rain showers we're going to see. 70 tonight, scattered showers still hanging around, and then we really ramp up the rain chances. Wednesday, the rain ahead of the uh, system, then it comes in. We'll call it tropical rain. I know it's not a tropical storm at this point, but it is the remnants of tropical storm Bill. Isolated storms Friday. Saturday, things at least... Good thing they quiet down this weekend. Just a very isolated storm possible. 89 degrees on Saturday.